Okay, this is Barefoot Grandpa and his assistant, Owen, and we're working on knots today. And Owen is going to show you his favorite knot that he knew all by himself. It is an overhand knot, and how you, and it's, it's, it's a good stopping knot, and, um, it's a, it's, is it, is it a joiner knot? Yeah, it's a join. No, no, it's not a join. It's a stopping knot, and you can also use it for like tying your jacket around your waist. When you're doing that, you're using it as a join knot. Okay, okay. So show you're me how. Using both of your sleeves to tie it around your waist, which you're using two pieces of something. Perfect. Which is a join knot. Okay, so show me how to tie a stopper overhand knot. So how you tie it is you make a loop like this. You use this part, the end, you put it through the loop, and then you pull. Cool. And it's a stopper knot. And we have this cup here, which we're going to pull, and it stops the cup from going to the end. Like, I'm pulling as hard as I can right now. And it's still not budging. Perfect. So that shows how well you can use a an overhand not as a stopper knot. Not. Awesome. And, and it's harder to untie than the bowline knot, which was our last video. And the, um, the box knot. The square knot. The square knot. <laughs> right, right. If you pull really hard on overhand, it's harder it to do it. So what you do is you... You pull it like this, and then it's undone. Okay, so and cool. It's not a knot anymore. That was the stopper knot, not. otherwise known as, as the overhand. The knot. overhand knot. Awesome. Okay, that was For barefoot grandpa. Grandpa, how to do the overhand knot, also known as a stopper knot. Ha ha ha.